Hey gang, I'm Brian Wheeler, ESO's Combat Lead. And today, we're taking a closer look at the Arcanist, their abilities, and unique mechanics. As an Arcanist, you'll draw power from Hermaeus Morris' Realm of Oblivion, channeling secret runes and powers that can destroy your enemies, heal your allies, and weather any attack. As the new Elder Scrolls Online class, the Arcanist empowers you with three skill lines, each made up of five abilities, four passives, and an ultimate. Like other classes we've introduced since ESO's launch, each individual skill line reinforces a style of play. Damage, healing, or defense. But as always, you can mix up your abilities to create your ideal playstyle. Drawing power from Apocrypha in the form of destructive rune blades, powerful energy beams, and more, the Herald of the Tome skill line emphasizes damage above all else. For example, Abyssal Impact fires off tentacles straight from your arm, dealing hefty damage and applying a debuff to your enemies. The Herald of the Tome's ultimate ability, the Unblinking Eye, is even more powerful, calling forth one of the many eyes of Hermaeus Mora to dish out area damage to anyone caught in its gaze. The Curative Runeform skill line provides the Arcanist with healing and support abilities, keeping you and your allies in the fight. Runemend is one such ability, restoring health to an ally with arcane words of power. This skill line also includes the Apocryphal Gate ability, which summons a pair of portals you can teleport between. When using a specific morph of this ability, this will grant you and your allies additional mobility on the battlefield. The Soldier of Apocrypha skill line provides a host of defensive tools to your Arcanist, helping you survive the dangerous world of Tamriel and confound your enemies. Runic Jolt, for example, deals damage and taunts your enemy, ensuring you remain in control of the fight. The ultimate in this skill line is Gibbering Shield, which surrounds you in a globe of defensive vicar absorbing a large amount of damage before throwing that right back at your enemies. In addition to a powerful collection of abilities, the Arcanist also utilizes a new combat mechanic, the Crux System. When you use Arcanist abilities in combat, some will generate Crux while others will spend it. When you activate an ability that spends Crux, you'll get bonus modifiers on that ability. This can include doing more damage, reducing resource cost, or other unique enhancements. You can generate and save up to three Crux at any time, and when any ability consumes your active Crux, the greater its effect. For example, Rune Blades generates one Crux each time it's activated while in combat, so you could use it to build up to three Crux before firing another ability like Fate Carver. Since Fate Carver is a Crux consuming ability, it will spend all the available Crux and have its damage increased as a result. Using a healthy balance of Crux generating and spending abilities in your combat rotations will provide all manner of enhancements to your damage, healing, or tanking. But note, while Crux is tied to how effective and efficient your Arcanist can be, it's not required to enjoy playing this new class. We've only covered a few examples of the cosmic powers you can draw from when starting out as an Arcanist. The rest you'll have to discover for yourself as you dive deeper into the mysteries of Apocrypha. We can't wait to see how everyone builds their Arcanist characters and masters these powerful and unique new abilities. Good luck, and we'll see your Arcanist on the battlefield.